Hi, I'm Carol Ann Weaver from Body and Soul Companion, and it is week 15, day three, or whatever day you want it to be to make um, the birth of Jesus fall on Christmas. So you might be at a different day in that liturgical year. All four or five candles are lit for around the Advent wreath, and then the Christ candle is lit in the middle. Today, Ignatius had a separate contemplation for the shepherds. So I do it as a standalone contemplation. So we are in Luke 2, 8 through 20. So I invite you to close your eyes and to breathe slowly. Recentering yourself on the presence of God. Find a comfortable position for your body where you can be relaxed yet alert, comfortable yet totally tuned in to the presence of God. Relaxing your body and also relaxing your mind. Give anything that might be distracting you over to God. And then finally, with your gaze fixed on God, I invite you to receive his loving gaze on you. Behold God beholding you and smiling. Lord, we pray that more of our day would be directed to your presence as we sense your presence may it overflow in praise to you and service to others and Lord this week we're seeking the grace to enter into the mind of the one who chose to be born as we were born. We ask to love this little infant so that our lives will fall into his life's pattern. Luke 2, 8 through 20. In the same region, there were some shepherds staying out in the fields and keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terribly frightened. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For behold, behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. 
This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes, cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels had gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds began saying to one another, Let us go straight to Bethlehem then and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. So they came in a hurry and found their way to Mary and Joseph and the baby as he lay in the manger. When they had seen this, they made known the statement which had been told them about this child, and all who heard it wondered at the things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary treasured all these things, pondering them in her heart. The shepherds went back, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, just as had been told them. So see the scene in your mind's eye. Imagine a hillside. In Judea. Who are you in the scene? I would suggest you be a shepherd. And I have my cup today is a shepherd's cup that has that scripture on it and all the sheep. So just imagine that in your mind's eye. What are you wearing? It's night. Look up into the sky. Can you see the stars? Hear the sheep. Ba. What do you smell? Maybe sheep smell. What do you feel? Or temperature on your skin? What are you wearing? Being the middle of the night. What are you thinking? Just another night on a hillside in Bethlehem. And then sitting there, kind of a boring night. And suddenly you see an angel. What does the angel look like? Imagine that angel. And then imagine the glory of the Lord shining around that angel. What would that look like? And shining around you, it says the glory of the Lord shone around them. What do you feel to have the glory of the Lord and a big angel in front of you? Feel your feelings to the depths of your being. It says here that they were really afraid. They were 
are terribly frightened. Feel that fear. And then hear the angel say, do not be afraid. For behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, there has been born for you a Savior who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying clothes cloths lying in a manger and suddenly there appeared so look it's one angel and then it's a multitude of angels Whew. multitude of the heavenly host praising god how loud is it feel the thunder of their voices as they say glory to god in the highest and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. And then just as quickly as they came, what are you feeling? Overwhelmed? Do you feel the joy? What do you feel? And then just as quickly as they came, the angels went away from them into heaven. What does that look like? Angels going into heaven. And then you say to one another, let us go straight to Bethlehem then and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has made known to us. So you see Bethlehem located on top of a large aquifer over that fertile valley with the almond trees and olive trees and fortified and protected. So you think, oh, we'll go up to Bethlehem. So what do you feel in your heart? And then you hurry. What does it feel like to hurry to Bethlehem? Imagine yourself hurrying to Bethlehem, leaving your sheep leaving everything behind. You hurry, see yourself running to Bethlehem and then going to the cave. And what do you see? Mary and Joseph and the baby in the manger. Take in the scene. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you smell? What do you feel? What are your emotions right now as you see the baby in the manger? Experience that. Sit with that for a moment. As you sit, maybe you hold the baby Jesus. Maybe Joseph hands the baby over to you. You, as a lowly shepherd, you look into the baby's eyes. What do you feel? What do you hear? Look at Mary and Joseph and what is the expression on their face? And then you hand the baby back to Joseph or even Mary. And then you go and you make known the statement 
that had been told to you about the child. You repeat the story where you hear the angels, the angels say, I bring you good news of great joy. Imagine yourself telling the people exactly what you heard from that angel. I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, there has been born for you a savior who is Christ the Lord. And then you tell the people about the baby that you found in the manger wrapped in cloths cloths, cloths. <laughs> and then you tell them about the angels that appeared, the multitudes, and the glory that was all around you. And you repeat what that multitude of angels said. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. And then you tell them everything you saw and heard and smelled and tasted. And then you hear the murmur of all the people that you tell. What are the reactions of the people that you tell? Look at their faces. It says that they wondered at the things which were told them. And then look back, we look at Mary. What does it look like as Mary treasures all these things, pondering them in her heart? And you as a shepherd continue to glorify and praise God for all that you have heard and seen, just as, it, just as it had been told to you by the angels. What, how is your life as a that shepherd different going back to shepherding flocks? How is your life different from having experienced what you experienced going back it says they went back praising God but how is your life different and then how is your your life you who who you are experiencing this contemplation how is your life different having encountered Jesus you might want to Recall a time where you encountered the living Lord. Just go and have by the light of the Advent wreath or whatever candle you have. Talk to God about all that you saw and heard. Be blessed.